Olympic Chase Stakes. Some smart sprinters here over six furlongs. Nayir heads them. The 11 to 4 favourite, Eddie O'Hearn. Ash Dunn Express at 7 to 1, Richard Mullen. Uh, Chucky Heaton is ridden by Robert Winston, who had a treble here last night at 14 to 1, Chucky Heaton. Danger over a Martin Dwyer showing at 11 to 2. Kieran Fallon's Mount Orient Tour, 13 to 2. Resplendent C at 12 to 1 for Richard Quinn. Sadad and Richard Hills at 12 to 1. The former South African galloper, Sun Tagano and Daryl Holland at 25 to 1. Ted Burrow, winner last year, now an 11 year old, 33 to 1 to stage a repeat in the hands of Dean McEwen. Cotton House at 50 to 1, Chris Catlin for Godolphin, Country Real, and Jamie Spencer at 6 to 1. And at the bottom, in cheek pieces today, Golden Nun, the mount of Kevin Darley, a 33 to 1 chance. And there is still support coming in for Nair, who's been clipped in now to 5-2. to two. The one or two bookmakers are still going 11-4 to four against it. It's then 6-1 to one bar. That brings in country real, and four three-year-olds in nine runnings have won this sprint. The other 6-1 to one chance is danger over. It's then 13-2 against Orientor, and 7-1 to one bar, and 33-1 to one Ted Burrow won it last year. And Gates are back, they're away and racing for the chip chase stakes. Now where are they going to go? Suntagonal is away well down the centre in a yellow jacket. Ted Burrow over on the far side. They're all tracking across to the far side and it's the ex-South African horse Suntagonal that blazes the early trail. Followed by resplendent C and nose banded Chucky Heaton. And then Nair towards the outside of Ted Burrow. Orientor in the maroon and yellow jacket. Country real near side. Sadat is pulling very hard. And then back in the pack to Cotton House and Danger Oak is well off the pace with Golden Nun in the cheek pieces and uh, towards the rear at this stage Ashdown Express inside the last three furlongs and it's Suntagonal with Resplendent C much closer now on the fence Ted Baroque is beginning to stay on his tongue wagging in the wind in the noseband Chucky Heaton Nayir is pushed along Golden Nun stays on on the far rail Resplendent C got to the lead very easily but the jockey's looking down he's not happy Richard Quinn on the leader and he's beginning to ease off he eased off for a few strides there and Orient Horn now burst through in the hands of Kieran Fallon and it's Orientor from Sadat Country Real runs on for Godolphin then Nayir and Ashdown Express Orientor reeled back by Country Real Orientor all out from Country Real Danger over a late flash Orientor probably just from Country Real Danger over was the fast finisher in third place and then back in fourth Ashdown Express followed home by Nayir and Sadat and then Resplendent C, Ted Burrow and Cotton House and behind those Suntagonal, the early leader, and Chucky Heaton. Well, Orientor, so often an unlucky horse. Well, it's fallen right for him today. We can just have a look at the freeze frame. It is a photograph here. Orientor and Country Reel with Danger Over finishing strongly on the outside. They cross the line, split by a few inches. But Orientor, on that evidence, has held on in the hands of the champion jockey. And every single one of the first three, Emma, returned at 61. Orientor, ridden by Kieran Fallon, scrambling home by a short neck, 61. 12 golden reel, second at 61. Third was number four, Danger Over, also at 61. The unplaced 11-4 favourite was number one, Nayer, and non-runner there, number 10. So